People asking in the comments if this is my piss jug. No, it's not my piss jug, it's my fucking water jug, people. I drink about two or three of those a day, it's pretty awesome. It holds about two liters of water, half a gallon. And uh, well, that's what I use to basically drink out of. I fill that up in the morning, drink a bunch of water, or in the morning, I fill it up when I get up, I should say, because my morning and your morning are two separate things. And then uh, I drop it in my face. But right now, what I want to do is make some eggs, toast, and bacon to have for, for breakfast, because breakfast is a good thing to have sometimes. Let's get the old frying pan all heated up, get some toast in the toaster, some bacon in the air fryer, and let's get some shit going. Got the bacon in the air fryer. In it goes. Six minute cook time. Noise. Bread in the toaster. Noise. Heated up frying pan. Egg in the frying pan. Noise. Toast is done. The eggs. Just waiting on the bacon. This breakfast is gonna fucking rock. I can't wait to drive it into my face. The bacon's done. It looks crispy. He's confused. Cause he has the brain the size of a nut It's the breakfast time in my fucking house Even though it's almost 5 p.m. We don't care because we're unemployed So time means nothing Except when you want to go fucking shopping When you're home and stuff There we go, breakfast is done And yes people, the eggs had like vegetables in it it's just like southwestern style egg in a carton shit that I buy. So when you see the lumpies coming out of the eggs when I was pouring it, they're supposed to do that. So for a while now, I've been trying to get my headphones to work in this setup. And the funny thing is, is I had to plug in the plugs backwards. This is the microphone, this is the headphones. Ridiculous. They wired them backwards on the motherboard. Still works, like it th doesn't matter. There's no quality difference or anything. They're both stereo jacks. It's just, you know, the quality and craftsmanship in this computer is fucking junk. A couple years down the road, when I decide to rebuild it, I'll make sure to do it right. But obviously they couldn't be bothered at the factory. Fucking tools. Alrighty people, well, I just noticed something there while I was uh, editing up the vlogs and having my breakfast and I watched the episode of The Simpsons from Sunday night. What I noticed was there's a lot more snow in my driveway. I was going to go out and go grocery shopping, but I think what we're going to have to do first is blast the driveway. So, <sighs> Frank's sakes, I guess that's what we're going to do. Going to head out and blow the driveway. And then we'll head out to the grocery store. I gotta pick up some food, some replenish my stock, if you will. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't have any plans for tonight. Like, I had no idea what to do for the vlogs today. And that's what kind of bugs me is not every day is an eventful day. And 99% of you understand that. Then you have that 1% that's like, well, one guy left a comment, and it's, it's not really the comment that bothers me. It's the fact that someone would take time to do that, you know. Oh, well, here comes the shit vlogs, you know, because the vlog a couple days ago was with me and my dad, and it was funny. There was banter and stuff, and I know you guys love it when my dad's in the vlogs, but, you know, due to his lifestyle, he can't be over here in the vlogs all the time. He's got his own shit to do, so he can't be in them all the time. When he's in them, yeah, they're funny. They're awesome, we have a good time, we banter back and forth. He knows it's all for show, and I know it's all for show. We don't mean anything we say to each other, but we like to pick on each other and troll each other. But when you got somebody out there who actually has, I don't want to say the balls, but the nerve to leave a comment of, well, here comes the shit vlogs, because you know, he's just fucking doing nothing. It's like if it's boring to you, why are you subbing? Why are you taking time out of your day to try and discourage someone from making content, from having a fun time, you know, from picking up a camera and, and putting his life out there on the internet? What the fuck gives you the right to even think like that? That and what kind of mental damage do you have in your fucking brain to think leaving a comment like that's a good idea? Like, you gotta be one fucked up individual to leave a comment like that 
and then feel good about it afterwards. Like your brain must be seriously fucking broken to the point where a psychiatrist probably wouldn't even be enough for you. Even the best medication on the market wouldn't be enough for you. So, And that's what bothers me about comments like that. They don't actually hurt my feelings. I know I'm not the best YouTuber vlogger on the market. There's a bunch of people out there that are better than me. Holy shit. Okay, that's me at the door. I'll be back. Fuck, wasn't sure if someone was here or if I was under attack. But uh, check it out. We got her. I'll show that after. No, like it just, it bothers me to the point that somebody would actually sit there and think that's a good idea. You know, it takes a real twisted individual. And honestly, the start of a soci sociopath, someone who could actually be dangerous in the world, causing murders and stuff, to think, to actually feel good about trying to discourage someone and leave a comment like that. That's the way I see it. Like, this individual is a sick individual. Even, and now they're probably going to leave a comment, I only meant it as a joke. No, you didn't. You fucking, you're trying to discourage me from making content to make yourself feel better about your own shitty life. That's it. But anyway, I mentioned yesterday that I got a steering wheel. I ordered a steering wheel. I ordered that a couple days ago, and that wasn't supposed to be here yet. Fucker's here. So, came from uh, Memory Express. I paid a bill 30 U, uh, yeah, bill 30, well, it was a bill 30 and 45 bucks shipping, so, fuck, is it ever heavy, so, we'll, we're going to check that out after we go blow the driveway and get shit did. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but we got a lot more snow in here today, so, I'm going to go ahead and grab the blower, and we'll get this all cleaned up. There's a lot more snow out there this time than there was the last time, that's for sure, but, let's go ahead and... Close up the garage, and then we'll go outside. Fuck, oh, that's right. And we'll uh, clean off the car. Oh, that door didn't close. And we'll get some uh, groceries did. Got a little bit of snow in the car, so that'll be a pain in the ass to clean off. See how I haven't driven it in a couple days. Oh, she's running rich. Probably because I haven't driven it in a couple days. She's cold. One joys of winter, eh? Fucking snow always getting on the seat when you open the, uh, the doors. But, I'll go ahead and slap the key in the ignition. Right. Wow. Let's uh, get the snow brush. Let's start cleaning this bitch off. Alrighty is warming up and everything let's hit the road actually let's see if we can back out of our spot because I haven't moved the car since the driveway was there oh yeah like a boss no problems okay I'm going to the grocery store I'm not gonna vlog and drive I'm just gonna drive so talk to you guys when I get there see this guy in front of me yeah he could get pinched for driving around right now because his license plates covered up with snow he could get in big trouble for that I believe it's a hundred and ten dollar fine for not clearing your plate Better hope cop don't catch them. Alrighty, we're down here at the grocery store. I came to Food Basics. They had some pretty good deals in the flyer. And those end on Thursday, so I figured I'd come in and capitalize. They got like chicken legs for five bucks and chicken thighs for five bucks and chicken boneless for ooh, five bucks. So I figured I would come in and scoop all those up and go from there. So let's pitter patter and have at her and get some groceries did. I know, it's a boring vlog. It's the shit vlog, eh, bud? Alrighty, I'm back. They had some pre-battered frozen onion rings, and I like onion rings, so I figured, fuck it. Grab a bag of those and see how they work in the air fryer. Got a bunch of other shit. Steaks and chicken and all sorts of stuff. Go home, we'll unload. We'll crack into that steering wheel. Let's do this. Alrighty, people, I'm home now, and uh, these are the onion rings I was talking about. They're battered onion rings, like Caven dish. They make french fries, too. Why are you jumping around? Anyway, he almost got mauled outside. I came home and I brought in uh, brought in one bag, and then because I only have one hand free, and uh, he uh, came outside with me. And the neighbors have him guests, and they had this great big fucking poodle-looking dog. The dog darted across the road, and that dog almost got hit by a car because he darted across the road. Didn't look both ways because dogs never do that. 
almost got banged out, came into the yard and fucking bull charged Oreo and Oreo didn't like the way he came at him, so Oreo ran right back to the door and I let him in. The dog probably was friendly, but you know, some big dogs don't like little dogs. And those aren't for you, buddy. <laughs> You're nuts. So he almost got banged out, but I got him back inside in time. So I'm gonna try and make some of these things for supper tonight. I also bought some more potatoes there on sale, a buck a bag for these uh, little potatoes. I got some pepperoni cocks in there and shit. Some Doritos, because they're on for three for five bucks, so that's a fucking good deal. And uh, some more rice, because rice makes it nice. Also bought a pack of steaks again, that was on sale for ten bucks for three steaks. So yeah, did pretty good for groceries this time around. Also got some veg, I wanted celery, but they were sold out when I got some Dr. Pepper, because I love that. But they were sold out, and I got some flake light tuna down there if you look. But uh, yeah, they were sold out of fucking celery. I guess the farmers quit growing it. You just, I, I try, if you can just, can you not play ballerina for a second? Just trying to pet you. Just trying to pet your face. Yeah, that's all you wanted, eh? Just to be touched by a human. Yes, you did. Oh, this is a boo boo. You know what's ridiculous? The cost of this stuff. It's the thigh chili stuff, or Thai chili, or whatever. Anyway, tuna. These were 69 cents a piece. For a big can of tuna, two dollars. I remember when this shit was 33 cents a can. Ridiculous. Why are you doing this? Not for dogs. Alrighty, air fryer experimentation time. We got some onion rings in there. And we got a steak in the bottom. We're gonna drive it in. Um, okay, we got a little bit too full of a, a basket here. Play a little bit of Tetris, move some shit around. Perfect. We're gonna set this. For 18 minutes at 200 C, and we'll see what we got in 18 minutes. I'm gonna Ziploc bag these other two steaks for another day, and it should be glorious. Alrighty, well I don't hear the air fryer anymore, so that means it's done. Let's see what survey says. Holy shit! Okay, let's get these onion rings onto a plate. That's all I can smell upstairs is onion rings. So 16 minutes is a little bit too much for them sometimes, I guess. Steak does not look cooked. So maybe it's not a good idea to put onion rings on top of steak. Maybe. Um, let's uh, take a look at the steak here and see. Actually, you know what? I'll eat that. It looks good. It doesn't look, look right on this side because I didn't have any exposure to the blades. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plate that. i got to make room on my plate. Apparently, I fried up too many onion rings, but let's see how they taste. Mmm. Awesome. I dig it. Don't even need a shovel. Air fried onion rings, that's another thing. Bada bing. So I'm gonna eat my dinner and then uh, I guess we'll unbox that uh, steering wheel. See what it looks like. That should be fun. Alrighty guys, just edited up my vlog for the day to see where I was at for time. And let's go ahead and crack into, let's go ahead and crack into this box. Let's see what the steering wheel is. So I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and hopefully get a good shot of this and we'll go from there. You know the bags over there? That's garbage that I gotta take out. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and crack into this. I'm gonna sit on my chair and do it because well, I'm bad and lazy. So, fuck it. What's this? Is this the invoice? Sure is. Tells me how much Canadian dollars I fed into this thing. Oh, okay, here's the G27. Wow, it's actually still wrapped. So, we'll just go ahead and... <laughs> Oh, Scampers is going to be excited. That's a sweet house for her. Flipped it over and it already opened up. So, it's used, but Buddy took damn good care of it. Guessing this is the power adapter. Yep. So there's the power adapter for it. Put that off to the side. The racing manual, the manual for the racing wheel. Apparently registration information. Buddy kept everything. Nice. What's this? Oh. These must be the pedals. Holy shit, they're not light. 
They are not light. Wow. Those are some big fucking car pedals. Wow, they're really, really, oh, the gas is nice, but the brake is really tight. The clutch is really tight. And it uses this, uh, like an old mouse serial RS-232 connection. D-bracket, nice. I have to figure out where we're going to set that up on there. So this have rubber stoppers underneath, okay, good. Here's the shifter. Holy shit. Also reverse on this one here. Oh, it goes like this, okay. So yeah, you got your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reverses down, all the way over and down. So then you got some buttons on here to press and your D-pad for selecting menus and stuff. And it just clips your desk using that, so that's pretty cool. I'll clamp that onto the desk over there and that'll be pretty awesome. And then the piece de resistance, the actual wheel. D-bag this. This is gonna be fucking fun. Well, shit, hey, look at the size of that wheel. You know, Frig, that's awesome. It's got six buttons on the wheel, paddle shifters. Wow, this thing feels well built. And I'm assuming there's a spot on here that, yeah, underneath, okay. So underneath the wheel there, there's two RS-232, a male and a female. And that's where you plug in your pedals and your shifter. Oh, we're gonna have to get this all set up. Look at that. See that on the steering wheel? He even left the friggin' cellophane wrapper over top of Logitech. Is that a button? That'd be an awesome horn button. Apparently, you can buy any, any car steering wheel, like a Momo or anything like that, and you can remove this wheel, this 11-inch wheel, and you can put any other wheel on it, but I kind of like this one because it has these extra buttons on it, right? So I can use those in Euro Truck for, I don't know, like headlights, wipers, high-low beam, um, maybe a high-low selector on the shifter or something, I don't know. But uh, this is going to be fucking wicked. Can't wait to get this all hooked up. And that's all we got in the box, so I'm going to start setting this bitch up. Okay, got it all set up over here. I'm probably not going to keep it this way, for, but for now I'm going to try it out like this. So we got our pedals down here and steering wheel up here and the shifter. Yep. Let's see if it actually works with the Euro truck. Sitting there wondering why the friggin' power light wasn't really bright on this thing. I forgot to friggin' put power to it. But we should be good to go now. Everything should work. Um, gonna give her a go. Okay, so I got some tweaking to do because the steering wheel is really out of whack, but I can use the track, uh, the no track IR to move my head around. And the steering wheel, like, it, there's not much play to do a simple turn. I got her in uh, 11th gear right now. I shift, but I'm vlogging while driving, and that's highly illegal. But uh, that's all right. I've got to set up my turning signals. I don't have them set up yet, but some people put them on the sequentials. So I'm probably going to do that, but all in all, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty friggin' fun. Probably not to watch, but it's friggin' fun to play. That much is given. Alrighty, well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, right now, I am just installing all of my racing game. Well, I got three of them here. Dirt 3, Dirt 3 Complete Edition, and Dirt Showdown. Dirt 3 Complete Edition is already installed, but it's not working right. And, yeah. So I got those installing Euro Trucks in. I'm not... I think Farming Simulator works with the steering wheel, so you can drive tractors. Um, flat out should. I don't really have a lot of driving games. Like I'm looking through here and I'm not seeing a lot of driving games. So, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Burnout Paradise should work. Don't I have that one? Is that installed? That's installed. I'm going to give that a go. Anyway, guys, um, I think I'm going to call her a night. It's about, uh, holy fuck, untangly piece of shit. There we go. It's about uh, 11 30, 12 o'clock ish. Where is it? Oh, it's 11 o'clock. I thought it was 12. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's getting kind of late. I'm going to call her a night and edit up the vlog and upload it. I got a movie I want to watch, and uh, after that's said and done, I'm probably going to bed. So I'm playing with my new steering wheel. That's kind of fun. 
deep fried some onion rings today. It is what it is, and welcome to the life of a daily vlogger. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment, and if you can't be positive, then just do yourself a favor and fuck off. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging.